Hey everybody, welcome back to the ST3D video. Like always, I'm BJ. Today we're going to be talking about something very important. Either you have a printer, or if you are a printer, there's one thing you're always going to run across throughout your printing career, and that is clogs. Now there's many types of clogs out there. Today we're going to talk about partial clogs that give you prints like this. Let's get started. So with the partial clog, these are some of the type of prints that can result. As you can see, there's a gap right there, but it still kept printing. That's because you didn't have a full clog. It was just a partial clog. And this is something I didn't catch, so I tried it again after clearing out the nozzle, and it got better, but it was still doing it, and I just couldn't figure out what it was. So I tried multiple ones and this one I actually stopped in the middle and I was having the same issues over and over again. And this is the most recent one that I did. And this one, uh, one of the reasons is because, well, temperature one is too high and two, it also had partial clogging on there. So basically what partial clogging is, guys, as the filament is coming out through your tube and it enters your nozzle at a certain temperature, uh, there's times where your nozzle here can have a partial clog. Alright, so the first type of clog you can get is a very simple one, like so. It's to a point where nothing is there and you can barely tell that anything is there, but you can't see the light that comes through it. Okay? Another type of clog you can have, which is a little bit more severe, is this one. You can actually see the filament in there like so but it still has a hole to where the filament once it gets heated can still go through uh, pouring out a little bit of filament but not too much and that's what ends up giving you this type of result here. Okay so <clears throat> another thing to watch out for guys is when your when your filaments actually coming out there's a partial clog on your nozzle and what ends up happening is your filament feeder um, or filament feeder drive some people call it a gear some people call it a pulley which basically is this one right here so once the filament is going through this thing keeps turning like so. Eventually over a period of time the teeth on these actually wear out. So what ends up happening is even if you don't have a clog in your nozzle uh, the gear or pulley here will have trouble feeding the filament through because it doesn't get a good grip on it. So this could be another reason uh, that is caused by a clog in your nozzle because once your nozzle is clogged this thing's constantly trying to turn and feed the filament through but if the filament's not going it's constantly it's just rubbing and rubbing and rubbing and over a period of time uh, it does that and I have had this printer for about seven and a half eight months and this is the first time I've noticed this so I was going crazy trying to figure out why changing out nozzles and everything why my clog was still there but eventually I came back and saw that my printer was actually printing and no filament was coming out so I just assumed it was a clog but when I took a closer look it was actually this gear or pulley that got stripped so what I did is I tried pulling it up a little bit so the filament would actually feed through here and that gave me the same result and then I tried moving it down to, fill, uh, to feed the filament through the top and I was again having the same result so after talking to a few people they recommended that I go ahead and just replace it and buy a new one so until then I can't really print anything so I ordered a new new one and I'm gonna s install that and see how it goes so um, th this is effect uh, a, a clock can have either major or minor just so I can point this out to you guys but after you clear out your clog and your printer is still doing something like this to where it prints uh, like half of it and then next thing you know your nozzle sitting up here but no filaments coming out it could be that you don't have a clog it could be just your teeth on your gear or pulley has just worn out 
So uh, that's what I wanted to make this quick video about guys just to let you know that clogs do affect other things on your printer and just keep an eye on it next time something to check for. Um, this is what causes the slipping of the filament once you have a partial clog and it's trying to print through and that's what people mean by slipping because the gear is still turning and the filament is skipping not going through but it's not the actual filament sometimes maybe just the teeth on your gear or pulley is bad. So go ahead and keep an eye on that. Check that next time. Maybe you have the same issue and you're just going crazy and can't figure it out like I did. And this thing's very easy to remove. Just to show you guys, uh, when you go right here, all you want to do is take an Allen key. There's two holes. So there's one here and then one over here. And once you get it loose, just go ahead and pull this together and uh, go ahead and pull it out. And that's how easy it is to take off. So. There you go, guys. I hope this video helped you guys out. Um, I know I was having some issues and I just couldn't figure out what it was. But partial clogging or full-on clogging can both affect your prints. But most of the time when you do have uh, partial clogging, it's, uh, it comes out something like this. Because either your filament is skipping due to teeth or it could be an actual partial clog, which is only letting a certain amount of filament through instead of the whole uh, point two amount that you normally would set it at or three or four or six whatever you print at all right if you guys uh, have any questions or comments like always leave it down below i'll be more than happy to get to it as soon as i can and like always uh, if you like the content of this video and would like to see more go and subscribe to the channel and remember guys good luck and happy printing